everyone. Welcome to our episode of STEM Chat. Today, Diane and I are gonna share some of our favorite things from this year that are perfect for your holiday gift list. So we're going to start um, with this do-it-yourself rocket kit. Um, we just launched it and we actually lost our rocket, but it was tons of fun and we have big claims to buy a new one soon. Very cool. Um, and as you know, Diana and I love um, nature and flowers. And when I was in Paris um, last year, I got to visit this wonderful paper store called Adeline Clam. And there's a whole crepe paper flower kit in here. It's available um, for those of you in Europe. And if you remember from our holiday video last year, um, I used this crepe paper flower kit. I'm sorry, this crepe paper flower book. And we make crepe paper flowers for our Christmas tree. So you can also um, have this as another option. Okay, so as Diana showed you with the crepe paper one, there's also um, really cool die cut kits with Leah Griffith. And this is sold on Amazon. It's very affordable. It's under $10. And all these, you can make these beautiful Camilla flowers um, with already pre-cut die cut paper. And this is so great. It makes all the flowers shown here. And there's also a video where she shows you how to make it. All you need to get is the floral tape and the extra um, things to make the leaves. But this is, um, well, she has leaves here, but the floral tape and the the actual wire to, to make these. So it's really fun. It's, um, I don't know, I love making flowers in this way. The other thing you can do, take it an extra step further is to get a cutting machine. I have a silhouette and Diana has a Cricut machine. And we've both used these for birthday parties and everything else. I make um, with my silhouette um, stickers for my planner and it's already pre-cut on this thing. And Diana, what do you use yours for? Um, I mostly use mine to make vinyl stickers of children's names for party favorites at birthday parties. It's a super cool thing. I think it's a great gift for any crafter on your list. <laughs> okay, so robots. I mean, what kids don't like robots? Um, one of a great gift um, are these robots called Dot and Dash. And they work with an app. These two actually can communicate together. Um, Diana got it for her older daughter last year for Christmas. And so yeah, she got it I would say this is a great gift. It lasts for years. Um, there's an actual app that you can use to um, program it. And there's lots of cool accessories. There's a whole online community. There's been like challenges that kids can do. Um, this one is a dot. She doesn't move, but... Um, the two robots can actually communicate together and do things together. And so when your kids discover the whole like personality of them and um, make fun little apps and, and um, it's, it's really engaging. And what it does is it basically teaches kids coding skills. So there's a technology and coding element in this and it's very, very fun. And they're also kind of like a little pet too, I feel like. Yeah, they are like a little pet because they have a little personality and there's just fun um, accessories for it. So I definitely think it's uh, worthwhile. And while we're talking about robots, we really love the Snap Together robot kits from Elinco. Um, we have gone through a whole bunch of them and my kids have done Zoom build alongs. This one's really cool because it follows you around or it kind of like walks around on its own in explore mode. Um, and then here's the bug bot. This is like a great starter one. I love it because the pieces come um, on, they're like plastic and you just punch them out and then you snap them together. It doesn't take any glue, which a lot of model kits do need. And sometimes you screw little parts together too. Um, and here's a look at the bug bot over here. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. Okay, and if you're doing a lot of things, um, with your hands and Zoom videos where you have to show your fingers. Natalie and I really love the Dior cuticle cream. Um, it really smooths your fingers out and especially with all the hand sanitizer we're using now, um, helps if you have dry skin. Uh, and if you order it from Dior, it comes in a cute little package that you can give as a gift. Yeah, this is great for anyone who really works with hands. And Diana had told me this for a while now, it took me over a year to finally give in and I get it so it's really worth it because it actually really does work and so i used to have really dry cuticles and it was just you know peeling on my fingers it did not look well so she really helped me out with that tip so it's something we hope we can share with everyone yep. it's a miracle so I right before <laughs> we started filming <laughs> exactly 
Okay, so we all know uh, there are lots of chemistry kits out there, and I really love yellow scope um, chemistry kits. This is the foundation chemistry set, and you can see um, it's it's a company created by women, and they actually have women scientists on the booklets and the packaging to really empower power young girls. Um, all everything you need is included in the kit. So there are tablets, the beakers, all the supplies, and my daughter and her our neighbor friend loved it so much they decorated the box themselves they made it their own i would say they used this box even after they used up all the chemistry um, uh, projects themselves and created their own experiments and had a little notebook and so they actually created their own little chemistry club together um writing notes for each other so i love that how uh the sense of like storytelling and chemistry kind of came together in their interactive play that's so neat. Does it come with chemicals in it or is it like use stuff from your kitchen? It comes with everything you need. It actually has specific experiments you can go through. And so it has everything you need um, to do. And you just need to add like water. Oh, wow. That's, that's cool. really cool. Yeah. That's or there, really are, there may be specific other kits that may need other things. Um, I'm not too sure right now. It's, it's been a, a few years, but I would yeah. say this, this, um, this kit, because I've tried other chemistry kits and this one, they really loved. And so there was something about the way um, the whole thing is packaged and the way the experiments are created that it really made them kind of um, use their imagination to create more experiments even on their own. Oh, that's neat. Well, I like that it has, um, you know, you're kind of going towards the more serious chemicals with it. Um, we've been using this kind of like a children's chemistry set at home. And it's with um, chemicals from your kitchen, like lemon juice and stuff. I love that the pieces, there are these sort of like large plastic um, pieces and you can put them in your dishwasher. So that's really great. They're very durable. My daughter had that when she was younger in her toddler early uh, elementary days. And that was just a great kit. Very useful, super durable. Very good. Uh, we also have this tiny chemistry set, tiny science. And it has so tiny cute little things, tiny beaker. Oh, I love miniatures. Oh my God, that's adorable. Yeah, the, my kids like to play with it with their Barbies and dinos together um, when they set up like play chemistry lab. That is adorable. I love how cute and realistic the dinosaurs were in that photo we just showed. Oh, thanks. They're from this German company um, called Schleich, and we have a whole collection of them. Um, they're nice because I feel like they're fairly realistic. There's actually forums all about them every time they release a new model. Um, and they talk about how accurate they are, like is the um, like how long the front and back legs are and if they're in a realistic pose. Um, so they're really neat. And some of them are really good size for like stocking stuffers. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we also have these other things. Um, we really love these acrylic housed beetles that would make great stocking yeah, stuff. Yeah, we featured them in our bug episode. That's one of my yeah. favorite episodes we did. Yeah, really cool. very durable too. And you can look at them with the pocket microscope. And speaking of beetles, uh, we love this Christopher Marley book about bugs. It's kind of like all the beautiful things about bugs that make you love bugs, even if you thought that they were icky originally. Um, right. And all these books we've had in our uh, STEM summer reading list from the summer. And it's in a newsletter. You can look at them. Their books are great gifts to have to give year round. Um, so that's you can check out the list for all the rest of the books we love. So speaking of books, again, here's a new book I just added to our collection. It's from DK Smithsonian STEM Lab, and it covers all kinds of really cool um, STEM projects for kids, full color photos. It's very compelling, and it really um, shows all the ingredients and all the projects kids can make. So I really love this book. It's another um, book I want to add to our wonderful favorite things list. Um, okay, and if you like crafting at home, we've been really into our knitting machine. Um, this is a circular knitting machine, and we've been making a lot of fun things. Um, we made this pumpkin for, uh, I don't know, like Halloween and fall. Oops. It's very cute. There we go. How long did you make a pumpkin? Um, I don't know, about like maybe 30 minutes or an hour. Um, and then we made these like little ghosts 
these were very fast. These only took like 20 minutes to make. Um, and this is with glow in the dark yarn. Um, and then here is a leg warmer we were trying out. We didn't like the leg warmer enough to make a second one. So it's a single <laughs> leg warmer. But you can make lots of fun things. And if you're looking for a cute yarn, um, I really like the hand dyed yarn from the Brooklyn company called Wandering Flock. Oh, those are really pretty colors. Thanks. I love that. Um, and that speaking of knitting, uh, you need to get a nice kind of craft bag or tote bag. This Erin Condren um, small tote is perfect because there's pockets. You can put your, your craft projects in here. There's Ooh. lots of zippers. You can also um, change out the strap. So there's oh, a wow. of strap. But I just love it. You can put your tools in here. I think it's really handy when you need to have your knitting project on the go or your quick little hand sewing project. Um, I really love it. It's really durable um, canvas material in here. I like it because it stands up. It looks like it stands up on its own. I feel like my yeah, tote bag is just like tips over. Vegan leather bottom. So it actually, yeah. it does stand up really well. That's great. I like yeah. it. I kind of want to get one. Um, okay. And if you're looking for something to organ get your kids organized, um, you remember these pencil boxes? Did you have one, Natalie, with all the cool little Oh, yes. Boxes? I remember those. I totally, I yeah. had a little kitty one, I think. Yeah. So, um, this one is my older daughter's. It's a little bit more traditional, kind of like the ones we used to have. But then I now have this type, which is my younger daughter's. And it has some crazy things that pop up. There's the pencil sharpener. Oops, let's see. This one has scissors over here. Uh, let's see. What's over here is some tape. And over there is the eraser and an extra um, little pouch and pencils. Oh, so cute. I'm, I'm obsessed with Stephanie stationery. Well, any stationery in general. <laughs> <laughs> Another cool stationery um, uh, thing I love are these Archer and Olive acrylograph pens. It comes in this wonderful um, set. This is the primary colors. Uh, and they're really, they're kind of like paint pens, but they're non-toxic. And then you can actually activate the pens here, try out the palettes. And they work really well in like bullet journals. Um, you know, sketchbook paper. This is a my, my daughter's um, Amanda Rich Lee um, bullet journal, dark red paper. But we also have what's really cool is you can use it on like blackout journals. The Arch and Olive sells these blackout um, paper journals, and you can actually draw on them. And the colors are just so vibrant on black paper. It's really it's really fun. That's really neat. Okay, so that's it for our favorite things um, from this year. We hope you guys have a safe and happy holiday season. We'll have all the products mentioned in this video and links listed below in the description box, as well as in our next newsletter. So sign up for our email newsletter at stemchatclub.com. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.